This is Jenna. We're going to do a panda today. Um, we're going to start with its nose. So if you want room for lots of ears, make sure the top of the head is about there and that the eyes are about there. That sounds about good. So you should do this one a little too high and then have no room for the ears. So I'm going to start with two eyes. They're kind of like lemon shapes, like, okay. And then one over here. You can always kind of adjust them. Make sure you're doing it very lightly. I draw a little circle in the middle, like that. And then you're gonna do kind of like a snout, like this. So do this, see this how this is angled? It's down like this. And then take your pencil and you, your, your brain will know when to stop for the nose. Maybe for a younger one, maybe for an older one. So decide where your nose is going to go. Mine is going to go right about here. You're just going to make a flat, kind of a little bit curved. And then that's a triangle. There you go. Okay. Um, you can put a little shine mark on it, which just looks like almost like a lightning bolt. Like that. Once I like it, I do it nice and dark. I'm happy with the shape I did. Okay, straight down from this, do a little dark line. And I, I want to kind of do this, but their mouths are quite flat here. I mean, you can if you want to make it a bit more cartoony, but let's be a bit realistic for those who want to keep it realistic. And you can make it more cat-like, circular here if you want. Uh, this comes up like this, around. I'm doing it really lightly until I'm happy with it. And then more pressure. Okay. I'm, I'm noticing how far this is away from the nose. And that's where I do the other side. There we go. Now the bottom, he's probably eating bamboo because that's what they do all day. You can make this jaggedy and like kind of feathery as if it's fur if you want or just keep it straight. And then let's do the fuzzy chin. See how I'm kind of doing, can you see? Kind of tick marks. Flick, 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 like that. Okay. And then you're gonna do, they're almost like peanut shapes. So start between the snout line and the eye. And they're gonna be kind of candy cane shaped like this. And candy cane shaped like that. And then the bottom is going to be, if this is the roundness here, the bottom is almost twice as thick like that. Kind of like lima beans or something, or <laughs> peanuts. Okay, and then make a line there, across from that one. There you go, sometimes I do it really lightly. Like that, and then just decide my favorite line. There we go. So there's your basic panda face. Now I, I find if I do from the eyes down and then from the eyes up, that's a good place for the top of the head. Is that right? Maybe a bit higher. I'm going to run over for my ears again. So the main thing about the panda faces is that it's quite, it's quite big. You want to just, like this won't do. You want to have it. Well, let's start right here. Let's have his face kind of go off the page here. I hope you're zooming in as much as I do because then it's kind of tricky for you here. I'm gonna curve this up a little bit. There we go. And then his head kind of comes in like this, kind of following this line a little bit. And then smoothing it down this way. Okay, so they have a really big face. And then starting from about the eye, you're going to go straight up. And there's a bit of a curve here. And their ears are super fluffy and really black. And then starting from the eye, curve up like this. Like that. So remember, this is black, this is black, this is black, and the rest of their face is white. So I could just do a little bit of 
black for you if you want. So let's go fill in all the black areas. So one thing I want to show you, anyone can do this, but I want to show you a little trick when you're, when you have a black colored eye and then there's black around the eye, what do you do about that, right? I'll show you a little trick. So here's the eye, let's do that nice and gently. Around the little eye. That's the shine mark. Okay, so before I, I color in this part, I'm gonna do a little outline around the eye. Nice and close, it shouldn't be a really thick line, just, a, just like that, just a really thin, This marker's almost a little too thick. So did you see that? That really makes the eye stand out. It gets rid of the problem of the eye disappearing once you've, this is a bit thick, I got a bit too close there. I'm used to using a Sharpie, not a big smelly marker. But they smell good, don't they? <laughs> fill in this big area. And leave the edges a little bit furry looking, rather than like perfectly straight. There we go. Good, I like to outline all my lines just because like it looks better. And then my little. Now you can have them eating bamboo if you want. You could have, um, hmm. Let me think about how I'll draw that. And I just filled it in black. How about I show you a, a separate little page about about bamboo, like that. Yeah, I'll have to do it with a Sharpie next time. It's hard to get it so smooth with one hand. There we go. That eye's a little bit bigger. That's okay. Look how fast I can fill it in, though. Okay, let's do the bottom of his face and the top of his head. And let's fill this in black. Pandas love to eat the shoots of bamboo all day. So if you have any room behind you, well, this is going to be his body, isn't it? But we could have, hmm, there's not that much room. Let me just show you on another page how to do bamboo. So if you have room behind your panda at all, this is how to do an easy version of bamboo. So two lines, curve, curve. Space, curve, curve, space, curve, curve, space, curve, curve, all the way down, okay? And then the shoots kind of come out of here. You can do the leaves, they're really pointy, like this. Or you can do a little shoot, a little branch, and then they come out of there. Okay, so you can make it nice and green behind him if you, if you have a bit more space on yours, okay? 
Then you might want to do them with different angles to make it more interesting, different thicknesses. Curve, 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 curve. Once you do this, keep it a little bit consistent. Don't, don't do it really short and then really long between them. Make the, make the leaves kind of interesting. Okay, hopefully that helps. I think of some fun things to do in the background. You can also dress up your panda, make, give him a bow tie or something fun like that. A top hat, whatever you like. So um, hope you had a fun time. Bye.